Hey there everyone, Captain Beards here bringing you another Land Grisser mobile video. Let's get it. Alright guys, so today's video was going to be an update talk video, but I decided to make it a top 3 arena teams, um, my opinion of course. Now, the reason why I'm not making this an update video is because they not they have not updated their Facebook page yet with details on the update that's supposed to be coming tonight. I know when you log in the game, it tells you a little quick thing like a, 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 a new Macho Lotto is coming, but that's about it. That's all they give us, so we don't really know anything else that's coming. Most likely, like I was saying, a Gate of Fate. Uh, some of you guys were calling the Macho Lotto, which I completely forgot was a thing. It's hard to really think or remember the Macho Lotto unless you absolutely spend money on the game because it's just a waste. Uh, usually it's a waste of time, a waste of money. The skins are nice, but it just takes way too many crystals. And if you don't want to spend a lot of money, then it's not worth it. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into my top three arena PvP teams. All, of course, my opinion. Let's do it. All right, so I was going to take each individual team into a PvP to showcase each of them, but then that would take too long. And plus, I actually have to work on quite a few of my units and get them up to par before I can show them off. So I'm just going to speak over them, and then eventually in the future, near future, I will be taking all of them to PvP so you guys can see exactly what they're made of. So the number three spot, number one, of course, is my, my best team in my opinion, so we'll do them last. But number three spot is actually going to go to the Holy Trinity, right? Now, the Holy Trinity would be Leiden, Liana, and Chris, right? So that's your main three. Um, so you're going to have SSR, SSR, and SR, right? And then your next two units would actually go to either Sherry, which is very, very popular, or Elwyn, right? So that's my number three team. Um, I think it's a fantastic team, very uh, tankish and hard to deal with because they're just so powerful, they're so strong. Um, the, the heals behind them, the defense behind them, and then Sherry is a very hard-hitting unit, and so is Elwin. so trying to move in on them is very dangerous. Um, and Elwin, yeah, I have him as a red, but you can easily swap him over to green, and he becomes Leon's worst nightmare, so... That's another thing to think about when it comes to your boy Elwin here. And Sherry can just fly across the board, kill somebody, and then go on to kill another person. It's just pretty pretty busted. Not to mention that you got Liana with the act again. So very, very difficult to deal with, especially when you got Leiden. Being the tank that he is, he's just going to sit right in front and block everything. So very strong team. And do not count Chris out has a SR, yeah, you might be thinking, oh, she's not going to be as good as the others. Actually, you are dead wrong. Chris is just as good as the others, and when I did a Chris guide, you'll hear me say that she deserves to be an SSR because she is an absolute beast, and I mean a beast of a unit. So number three goes to my Holy Trinity team. Um, that's what I, I would think. Now, Number two. Now, these are all my opinions, guys, so take everything I say here with a grain of salt because if you try to say, well, Beard said that this is the best team ever. No, don't go by that. You know, these are just the teams that I've used in PvP and had a lot of fun with, and I, I think they deserve to be glorified a little bit. So, number two, and you guys are going to be a little bit shocked by this one, right, is the Princess Twin Power Team. Now... Number two was very difficult for me just because I was going to throw the Empire's Honor team in. Now, one of the Empire Honors team would be Leon uh, Alta Muller here. Let's see who we got here. Uh, Varg and Bernhardt. And then you would throw a healer in that fifth spot. It could be a Milda or it could be just a normal uh, Leon or TR or Sophia, whichever healer you got access to. So it'd be those four units. It'd be Leon, Alta Muller, uh, Varg, and Bernhardt, which are extremely difficult to deal with. But the thing about that, honestly, I don't have fun with that team. If I'm being really honest with you guys, I, it just for me it just it doesn't it doesn't bring out the fun that I have with the other teams. So number two spot goes to Twin Power Team. Now, what is Twin Power Team? Obviously, it's going to have Angelina, it's going to have Shelfinol, it's going to have Liana, and it's going to have Lana, right? So, 
not only do you have really heavy hitters, which are going to be Lana, Angelina, and Shelfinal too. She not just carries the Fusion Power Buff, she carries Heaven Sanction, which is a very strong move. So you're going to have some pretty heavy hitters here. On top of that, you have a fifth slot that can go to anyone. And I mean anyone, just because you already have your healer, right? Your healer's already settled, you're good. Um, so your fifth spot, if you need somebody to tank or jump in front of shots for you because you're running two mages here, which is Shelfano and Lana here, then you can actually throw in Freya, have Freya just sit back, uh, proc Lance, and then somebody goes and tries to attack your mage, Freya's just going to jump in front of the shot and they're going to eat a crap ton of barbs, which is fantastic. So number two spot goes to my Princess Twin Power Team. Uh... Angelina, Shelfinol, Lana, Liana, and fifth spot, you can put anybody in that spot. I recommend uh, either a tank or somebody that can get across the board and just annihilate uh, because these units are going to be picking them apart. So somebody like Leon or Sherry does fit nicely there. That is my number two team. And that was actually my number one team uh, before a certain unit came out. So... Once this certain unit came out, that then my new number one team kind of took the spot here. But let's get into it here. So number one team is going to be the... Wait, where is it at? Where is it at? Is going to... No, you don't have it yet here. Is going to be the origins of light team just kidding i am lying to you guys number one team is the dark reincarnation team you guys really thought it was the origins of light team you're insane all right so my number one team for pvp is the dark reincarnation team and the character to do that was listel when she dropped and i used her the very first match that i used her in pvp i knew that she was meant for this this was her whole entire build was pvp focused and she is an absolute beast so what is the team the team is bozel listel lana that is the dark trinity that's what i call it bozel listel lana liana now i know she doesn't fit on the team she doesn't have dark reincarnation but you need a healer so you can run liana you can run sophia or you can even run tiars in that fourth spot and then your fifth spot does not matter if you want to keep the buff going you can actually run your boy sephiroth here in the fifth spot because he has the dark reincarnation um let's say i'll stay on this page here you can run zoraida she has dark reincarnation um so like unluckily for me i don't have her uh bernhardt is another one um he, he takes a little bit to build though uh an egghead egghead fits quite well here too just because Egghead does have a lot of debuff moves too, so he fits perfectly with Bozell's fusion power. Sonya, like uh, the blue, she's the female Leon, so if you do not have Leon and you need somebody to get across the board and do de and do the deeps, uh, Sonya partners very well with Listel. So, why is Listel actually not here? Oh, she's right there, okay. Uh, I was about to say, like, where is she at now? So, Dark Reincarnation Team. Now, what is my current build on Dark Reincarnation Team? Let's switch over to the PvP with this team so you guys can see. All right, so we're in PvP here. So um, I'm just going to show you the top teams real quick, and then we'll get into the match here, and I'll show you who runs my fifth spot as my Dark Reincarnation team because it actually just recently changed uh, due to one of you guys. So uh, kudos to you. But anyways, so the first team was, of course, the Holy Trinity team, which, of course, is going to be Leon... Elwin, Sherry, uh, you already got Liana there, and who is that fifth person? I complete. oh yeah, Chris, okay. So that's going to be your Holy Trinity team, um, and this team is very popular online, and you will see this ran quite a bit, and I, I don't blame people for running this team. It's very difficult to deal with on the opposite ends of things, so... Yeah, not a fun team, especially once you click the Sherry. Um, my Sherry is not currently built like this, but once you click that Sherry, let's see if his is. Yeah, once you click the Sherry and you see a lot of HP and stuff like that, then you know you're in for, for quite a battle. So not a fun team to deal with, but definitely a strong team to use. So if you do have access to these units, do not be afraid to use them. Uh, second team, which is my second favorite team, 
was currently my first favorite team, but now is my second, is going to be the Twin Power team. Now, I love this team. I have a blast with this team still, and it still is my go-to team in not just PvP, but PvE. So I will be doing a top three PvE team builds. Um, but for now, this is my second favorite team. Now, like I said, you can swap off any princess in that fifth spot. So you can even run Luna there. You can run Sherry there. You can run Chris there. If you need double heals, you can run double heals. Unfortunately, you can't run the queen because she does not have the princess fusion power. Um, so, yeah, so you have access to a lot of units with this team. That's another reason why it's my second favorite is just because you can just swap out anybody you want at any given time. And it's just, it's super fun. So, do understand that if you need a little bit more deeps, you can easily do something like this. Or like this, doesn't really matter. Uh, me personally, I like this setup here. It is phenomenal. And then uh, my first favorite team, which is currently my all-time favorite team. Let's see here. Uh, where's she at? Where's she at? Where's she at? Oh, she's already there. She's already there. And who runs the fifth spot? Oh, not Lanford. Recommended by you guys. It is Hein. Now, as you can see, my Hein is not built up at all. But here's the big but. I have him currently. He has teleport. So... I use my teleport on Listel to get her in the fight, and she's the one to do the blood dance, and that pretty much destroys the target, and it's a GG. So what do we got here? All right, so let's go ahead and start this fight. Uh, let's go ahead and set up here. Uh, that should be that should be good. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. All right, so. Let's see what we could do here Like I said, this is my current favorite setup I was currently having Leon in that fifth spot, but then after one of you guys recommended that I actually use my um Use my hind or Jessica to use teleport. I was like, whoa, that's actually a really good idea Use teleport on Listel so that way Listel can get in there use blood dance and pretty pretty much just destroy them because that's what Listel is going to do. Now currently my uh, Lana is stronger than my Bozel. So I am going to be running. Can Lana reach with Black Hole here? Alright she can. Perfect. 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 Alright so I am going to be running Bozel's Black Hole first. And then Lana's Black Hole. And then we're going to get Listel in there. Alright. Learn from the best. Despair. Alright. Damn, I called that one. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Like I said, this team is just so freaking powerful. Just like... The chip... It's chip damage, really. But it's like... <laughs> look at the chip damage, you know? Two black holes. And then this girl's ready to go. So, Hein, here you go. Let's go ahead and jump her. Boom. Uh, yeah, we'll put her right there. Because we're going to take down the Sherry. Because I think his Sherry is stronger than his Leon. And a Blood Dance. Here we go. Boom. They have a zero healer now. Their Sherry is practically dead. Um, they have no tank. Their tank is practically dead. Elwin, if Elwin attacks my list, Elwin's dead. All I have to do is worry about the Leon, and that's not even a big deal because, I mean, look at his health. Elwin just killed himself. My teammates just pretty much healed up. Now, like I said, all I have to do is worry about the Leon, and that's not even a big deal because, all right, let's go ahead and take down the, take down this dude first, so that way he can't jump in front of the shot. Beautiful, and then we're going to do this. And done. BEA beautiful. Let's hop into another one. All right, and another one here. So same team here. Now let's see the setup. Okay, we got this, this, this. Uh, how good is Bozo's mobility on this map? It's decent. How about okay? Hers is decent too. 
So we might be good like that. And her mobility is shot on this map, which does change tactics a little bit, unfortunately. Lestal can still pretty much do quite a bit of work here. Alright, so... What's the kill? I'll uh, defeat two enemies. I might be able to do that first turn. Yeah, I, I think I might be able to do that first turn with... With Lestal. Well, we can't we can't get Lana in there because Lana has zero mobility, so we're gonna have to again Bozell. So in this case, watch. I'm still gonna use the same team here, but this time the tactics are gonna change a little bit because Lana's practically not gonna get any shot. If I'm being honest with you, it's just gonna be pretty much all on our our boy Bozell here. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I always get scared with the mobility because I gotta make sure my my Lana can reach Bozell to get the act again here. Alright, so we just have to kill two units. So that's not that big of a deal. Um, let's see here. There we go, get all of them here. Despair. Beautiful, good little, good little deep stare. And let's go ahead and teleport you. Ooh, they are in serious trouble. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Man, this is gonna hurt for you, all of you guys. Peace out. Boom. And bam. Ooh, man. Next. Alright, so to end this video off, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about my fifth character in my top one team, which is gonna be Hein. Like I said, it could be Hein or it could be uh, Jessica. I do not have it, pretty much either of them trained up. As you can see, I was just using Hein and literally has zero gear. Um, and he's only level 45, so I was just using him for his teleport. But after doing that, I can tell you now, uh, by the end of today, this man will be between levels 55 and 60, and he will be fully geared out. Not just because I'm just going to use him for a teleport, but also because he has great moves. His kit is really good, so I do not just want to use him for a teleport. I also want to use him to deal deeps himself now jessica is a very strong candidate for that spot too um the only difference is she's an r unit but if you do uh if you do train her up her first area at least you can unlock teleport so once you class her up yep so once i class her up to the level 12 class up here she'll get teleport so you can do the same exact team um but run jessica instead of hein if you do not have hein um they are both lower tier units so very easy to get jessica's free and Hein is, you know, SR units, so pretty easy to get. Anyways, guys, that was my top three arena team. Um, of course, all my opinion and all what I think, guys. So tell me, comment down below, what are your top PvP teams? So that way I can go ahead and check them out in the arena just to see if... Uh, Maybe you guys might be able to change my minds on my top three. And if you get to change my mind on my top three, then I will go ahead and showcase your team that you're running in PvP. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. And always stay positive. Peace out.